Can I help? I wanted to ask you, man to man, if anything's going on between Daisy and the fellow working at the Ritz. Going on? Nothing goes on in any house where I'm in authority. Of course not. I didn't mean that. What did you mean? I think you know. The fella is called Alfred. There is no romance between him and Daisy. He has left our employ. I doubt they'll meet in the future. Because I wouldn't like to push in where I'm not wanted. Who do you call? No one you know has got one. Well, they will have. You'll see. Might I inquire why my pantry has become a common room? Sorry, Mr. Carson. But do you know how it works? Of course I do. Will you show us? Certainly not. A telephone is not a toy, but a useful and valuable tool. Get back to your work. You mean, I'm going to cook? It's very straightforward. Now get the chicken in the oven right away, then peel the potatoes and prepare the cauliflower. Oh, and put a kettle on to boil. You should find bread and an onion for the bread sauce. Butter and milk are in the meat safe outside. I'm sorry I'm a bit behind. The potatoes may have caught. Never mind. Uh, how's the cauliflower? Oh, God. Um... Yes. Oh, while you're there, put in the apple crumble. Bottom oven. Mm. This crumble's good. My mother's was always a bit soggy. Mm. Oh, crumble. Oh. Is that it now? Are we done? Oh, just put the things in to soak. Make sure you cover the pots with water. You don't have to do the washing up till tomorrow if you don't want to. You won't be better by the morning. Oh, not for that. We could ask Billy to come over, but he's got his own work to do. You don't mind, do you? Oh. No, I don't mind. Cool. Uh, yes. Carson? Oh. Uh, may I be of help? Um, on va prendre celui-là, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur Roussel. I thought maybe this one. It makes you look like King Zog of Albania. Oh, perfect. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't hear of it. It was my choice, so I should pay. Yeah, but I'm the one who has to wear it. Um... Thanks for your custom, sir. Both you and your wife. Uh, something I want to tell you. Her ladyship wants to give us all a day out while we're in the South. Oh. And I've been thinking a visit to the Science Museum. Or perhaps a trip to see where they've put the Crystal Palace. Then there's the Royal Institution. Or the Natural History Museum. Of course, Westminster Abbey is always a good day out. Well, I'm sure we'll come up with something. Oh. Come on. I dare you. But if I get my trousers wet... If you get them wet, we'll dry them. Suppose I fall over. Suppose a bomb goes off. Suppose we're hit by a falling star. You can hold my hand. Then we'll both go in together. I think I will hold your hand. It'll make me feel a bit steadier. You can always hold my hand if you need to feel steady. I don't know how, but you managed to make that sound a little risque. 
And if I did... We're getting on, Mr Carson, you and I. We can afford to live a little. <laughs> <laughs>